You are the hollyhock snout beetle. Named after your big snout and the fact that you're on my hollyhock plant all day, every day. That must be nice not to have to go anywhere. You wake up and you don't need to drive anywhere. You don't need to go to work anywhere. You just stay home all day. Anytime they get hungry, they just take a big bite out of the plant that they live on, chomping down on that sugar treat. They're basically living in Charlie's Chocolate Factory. For all day, the shorter snouted male cruises around on the back of the longer snouted female. He doesn't do his own walking. He gets her to do his walking for him. He just clambers on her back and she just piggybacks him everywhere that he needs to go, which is nowhere. Cause he just likes to chill, but he doesn't want to chill alone. He wants to chill on the back of his partner. That's almost twice her body weight that she's got to lift Right, just to get around, just because he, he doesn't want to get off of her. You can see his penis swoosh down and insert itself into the female's vagina. Researchers believe that the male stays on top to prevent the female from getting humped by other dudes. Just chills on the back of his hardworking babe all day. She runs around trying to find food and you know lay a whole bunch of eggs. I'm not even sure if he gets off to poo. He probably just poos on her. I haven't actually witnessed that, but it could very well be the case. He's just not a respectful little man. Look at this ant biting his girl. What's he doing? Nothing. And he's a jealous creep too. When he sees other beetles having sex, he, he pulls out his squirmy move. Tries to pry the other guy off with his big snout it's a nightmare in hell. I'm pretty sure this is a snout beetle gang rape. If this was a human rape, I would call the cops. But the cops don't care about bug rape. They don't respond to bug violence. Why is that? I don't know. It could be that snout beetles haven't had a women's rights movement that protects female bug bodies. Could also be that, you know, the small size of the snout beetle makes them pretty much impossible to incarcerate. It also could be that larger animals with an organized police force like humans don't care about uh, these tiny female bugs. Maybe in the future, we'll have the ability to open up the male snout beetle's brain, do some rewiring in there, and ultimately uh, make him a kinder and more loving snout beetle. But for the present, we have to meet the male snout beetle where he's at. And he does not have a job. He doesn't pay rent. He doesn't buy food. He lives a life of leisure on the back of his hardworking female. 